so my thoughts this morning are that when you move to these places, you're not really moving to these places. You can, you kind of are, but you aren't, because you're you're no longer coming here and paying what the place really costs. What you're doing is you're coming here and you're competing with big city America or big city Europe or big city Australia, doesn't matter. They're the only ones that think eight to $1,200 rents are acceptable. Anyone else that's not in big city America or Canada or... We better skip this. Which way do you want to go? Here or here? We're in a El Centro maze. I just washed my shoes last night. It's okay. I have my black suede skateboard shoes on. Okay. <laughs> you want to go to the half pipe later? So I was saying that big, big city Western world are the only ones that think the, the eight to twelve hundred is an acceptable amount of rent to pay. Nobody else thinks that. Uh, they can stay home and pay that. Shoot, they can pay less than that. What really happens when you come to these places is you're just competing with, with big city America, big city Western world. <laughs> So if you weren't having to compete with them before, it's a word to the wise, be warned. You're, you're just transporting yourself, suburb. You're transporting yourself to a suburb of big city America or big city Western world. That's what you're doing. And that's a little discomforting, actually more than a little. Because like I say, you weren't competing with that before. And you come down here for the, for the place you came to, you didn't come down here to be in a suburb of a big city, big city America. And uh, you know, what's really funny about that is that all the gringo presses, they like to run these articles about how the average length of stay of these people is only around three or four years maximum. A lot of them leave sooner. A very few people that are committed to living outside of their place they, they're from remain like, like us. I think that the whole scene is, I don't know how to describe it without sounding, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not the one that's doing all this stuff, you know, I'm just reporting to you what, what it's like here. Grand Columbia. That one is um something else. No, you be both. Does she know you? Cinco años, you'll see. Gracias. Who is that? I don't know. She just said 
Hey Blondie, how you doing? Oh, she said Blondie. I thought she said, hey Brandon. No, she said, hey Blondie, how you doing? <laughs> Super, I'm Super. Oh my goodness. And I said, I'm doing great, thanks. And she's like, you're, uh, you're here visiting. And I said, no, I live here. Interesting morning. She thinks that we're visiting because your dad and I are video videotaping. Only tourists do this kind of thing. Yeah, only tourists walk around with cameras. <laughs> yeah. You walk around with cameras. Yeah, only tourists walk around with cameras. What it's like here. Okay, so I don't know if you could understand the Spanish, but she asked if we were tourists, which is indicative of the experience here. You could be here 40 years, but because you look like a gringo, it's assumed that you're a tourist. That might be somewhat charming or a little endearing, but really, when it comes to actually getting anything done and paying for stuff, it gets old really fast. Really fast. I think a commenter said something about chasing rainbows. Does that sound cynical? To a rational mind like myself, a rational thinker, I don't know. It seems like it rings true to me. Now what are these people chasing? Don't they know their own country has areas where they can live cheaper? Why cross all these countries? Down here, stay a few years and leave. What's the point? <laughs>